Welcome aboard passengers, Mega Sim. We're on another episode for the Midland Mainline coming to Train Sim World. This is Barrow upon Saw. Cue the intro. <laughs> Welcome aboard passengers, Mega Sim. We're at Barrow upon Saw, one of the little stations in between Loughborough and Leicester. We've got two Class 170s in this afternoon, which is really nice to see. Um, this one is going to Lincoln, and the other one is going to Leicester. No 158s today or anything else. All I've seen is triple twos and 170s. But what we're going to do is we're going to look around this station, around these two platforms. As you can see, there is tactile paving, so that's one good thing from this station. But yeah, let's go and have a look around and uh, see what we can find. So the name simply gives it away. Barrow upon Saw Railway Station serves the large village of Barrow upon Saw in Leicestershire. As we know, this station is in between Leicester and Loughborough. Originally known as simply Barrow, but then became Barrow upon Saw in 1871. So, for the first 31 years of its life, it was known as Barrow, part of the Midland Counties Railway, which then formed into Midland Railway, when a few came together. Now, Corner Wood House was opened by the rival Great Central Railway on the opposite side of Corn. So, in 1899, Midland Railway renamed their station Barrow upon Saw and Corn. Neither station, in fact, was ideally located for Corn being about the same distance from its centre. Now it's the only station on the line to retain much of the original MCR, so Midland Counties Railway architecture, but 1968 something happened. I don't know what was so big about 1968, but anyway, completely demolished and closed. There was a new station that was opened a little to the southeast of the original site, um, in the 27th of May 1994, which is this station, Barrow upon Saw, and this was part of phase one of the Ivanhoe line. If you want to look at more about the Ivanhoe line, check it out on the internet. Now, there was think, something that did happen in 2016 the station was partially closed, the way it was disrupting as train services because a road bridge was collapsed, partially collapsed during maintenance work. So there was severe disruption, possibly on the bridge that we can see going over the station itself. Tactile paving on both sides, which is nice to see. But yeah, good to see these little stations being included in Midland Main Line. So let's have a look at the rest of the station, and then soon we'll be able to compare it to the game. Trains in World 3, Midland Main Line coming soon by Skyhook Games. <laughs> 